Windows 11 is sleek and modern operating system, but it does arrive with its share of pre-installed software that might not align with your preferences or needs. You have likely encountered those preloaded applications that rarely get used, consuming precious space and potentially slowing down your system. Whether it's trial software, promotional tools or simply stuff you will never use, we have all been there. In this video, I will share with you two easy ways to remove bloatware on your Windows 11 installation and by the end of this video, you will be enjoying a faster, leaner and more efficient Windows 11 experience customized to your preferences. By the way, if you are interested in my current desktop wallpaper, make sure that you click on the first link in the video description. Now, the first way to remove bloatware on Windows 11 is to use program called Junk Control and let me show how you can use it. Go ahead to this GitHub link, which I will also provide in the video description right below the like button. Now, once you are there on this GitHub page, make sure that you navigate to this releases link. On this page, then you can scroll down and select this johncontrol.zip file to get the dbloater tool. Once you got the file, you can then click on this folder icon on the top right, and this will redirect you to the downloads folder in your file explorer. Once you are there, you can then click here on the top to extract all, and then you can and once again click extract to get the dbloater exe tool, in this case johncontrol.exe file. Once you have it, you can then double left click to open it and you will be also asked to accept the admin prompt. Here basically press yes and this will then open the bloater tool called junk control. So on this page, you have a few of the options, which you can also check to remove even more bloatware on your system. Right now, I will go through them. First, we have the basic Windows 11 build, which is my current version, which I'm currently on. Then we have built-in community scan for junk apps. So this will then scan for the apps, which the community thinks are the bloatware. Down below, we have built-in private scan for the junk apps. So this is basically the directory, which is built by the junk control team and these are basically the apps which they think are the junkware or the bloatware. Then we have also the plugins like HP bloatware, Microsoft apps only, OneDrive app, scan Microsoft store apps and also unnecessary Windows programs. So if you checked every single thing here or if you also leave some of the things unchecked then you can simply select here new search and this will then search for the apps which they think or the community thinks are the bloatware. Here we also have a one confirmation so the plugin onedrive app features powershell code do you want to run the powershell code for the onedrive app so for example if you don't use onedrive and you want to remove it from your system i highly recommend that you press yes here so i will do that and right now it will scan for the onedrive as well and i think it would also basically remove it now here we have a few of the apps which we can basically right now remove from the system. So you can see that this program found 87 junk apps on my system. So there are basically a lot of them. So if you don't want to use or don't use any of the apps and are taking up some precious space, I highly recommend removing them. So for example, at the top, we have Netflix, we have Amazon, TikTok, Clipchamp, Facebook. We also have Microsoft gaming app, we have Microsoft Office Hub, Microsoft Solitaire Collection. We also have here Microsoft Office Hub, Netflix, and also Spotify, which I will leave installed because I actually use it. So these are the apps which I'm going to remove right now from the Windows 11 installation. So here at the bottom, you will then press add everything selected to the bin. Right now you can see recycle bin, we have 86 items in the recycle bin, but if you don't want to remove any of the apps, you can then just press here restore all or just restore if you want to restore a single app. So here at the top, I will right now press uninstall and right now every single application will be uninstalled, which I actually checked right here. Here I will click yes, and now every single thing should be uninstalled. After successful removal of the unwanted apps, you will actually see the summary in this application. So here you can see that we have 86 apps, which 
have been selected for the removal. Then we also have 32 apps which has been removed. So only 32 were removed from the system of basically total apps which were selected, so 86. So here we then have the list of which apps were actually removed. And then at the bottom here, we have the following apps could not be removed. So like this one's right here. And here at the bottom, it also says that this app won't allow you to remove a few of the most important built-in apps like Microsoft Edge, .NET Framework. So these apps are actually needed for the Windows 11 experience and for the other programs. So most of the apps were actually removed. Those essential to run Windows 11 are actually still installed. So I think this is a good thing. So yeah, this is it for this program. Let's right now also check if the OneDrive was also removed. Let's go here to the settings. Let's go here to the apps, installed apps, and let's search for the OneDrive. So you can also see that OneDrive was actually successfully uninstalled. And now for the second way to uninstall unwanted apps on your Windows 11 installation. And now we are going to use this tool called Windows 10 The Bloater from Sicknack. So this tool is actually a few years old. So you can see here the initial commit. So six years ago, and then the latest ones were two years ago. So if you want to get this program, you can then simply select here code and then click here download zip to get this program. So once again, click on this folder icon on the top right and click extract all in the file explorer. And then once again, extract to get this the bloater tool. So in the title, it says actually Windows 10 the bloater. It will also work on Windows 11 as well. So let's open this folder. And now you have here three files which you can use. So we have first Windows 10 the bloater .ps1. Then we have Windows 10 the bloater GUI .ps1. And we also have Windows 10 sysprep the bloater .ps1. I highly recommend to you guys that you use the GUI version, which actually has as UI interface. So once you have this file selected, you can right click and then select here run with PowerShell. And now here you will need to press R to run this program once. So then after you typed in run, you can press enter and this should create a system restore point and it should also open this Windows 10 debloater tool. So here on the top, we have the bloat option. So we have here customize block list option. So this is actually pre-config. So this is what this program thinks are the unwanted applications or the bloatware. Or if you want, you can also add a few of the other applications which you don't want to this list as well by just picking one of them and then selecting like so. And then we can also save this as a custom playlist. Now, after you did that, you can execute this command by clicking on remove all bloatware. So this will then remove the bloatware with the pre-installed config. But if you have your own config, which you can actually customize on the top, like you see here, you can then select here, remove bloatware with custom block list, which you actually created. But here for the demonstrational purposes, I will click here, remove all bloatware. So here at the bottom, we also have other changes and fixes. We have uninstalled OneDrive option. So we already removed OneDrive with the previous bloatware removal tool. Then we also have an option to unpin tiles from the start menu. Here we also have disabled telemetry and also tasks. So if I click this, it should remove a few of the telemetry options for the Windows 11. Here for the last option, we also have remove bloatware reg keys. So this will remove the registry entries from the previous installed bloatware on our system. So if I click on this, it should also remove every single thing which was actually installed previously on the system from the registry right now. So this is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't already, make sure that you check out the first link in the video description for this amazing wallpaper, which I have right now on my desktop. And uh, yeah, if you are new here, subscribe to the channel would be also much appreciated. Like this video as well and have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.